Hey, what's up guys? So I want to show you a really cool new workflow that I recently discovered on YouTube by the channel uh, Emiliano Colantoni. Probably butchered that for any of my Italian viewers. He had this really cool, interesting approach on creating this sci-fi hover bike using metaballs. It was a hard surface model using metaballs. So I want to kind of talk about this in this video, but also show you how you can implement this workflow um, into Blender using hard ops and box cutter, using quad remesher, and also using sub D. Let's hop into it. So like I said, I didn't even think of this workflow. I just found it on YouTube by that channel I just mentioned. And metaballs have been around for a really long time, but I've never really used them. And this just kind of gave me a completely new idea for how to kind of approach, you know, sketches and things like that. So if you press shift A and go to metaball, you're going to have these three di or, um, five different types of metaballs in here. So you have like this ellipsoid thing, you have, you know, a capsule, you have a sphere, they call it a ball here. You get the idea. Now, whenever you add in one of these, there's going to be a metaball menu over here. And the resolution by default is set to 0.4. And I'm guessing this is just um, like pixels or whatever so if you go down in pixels the resolution will be higher so if I drop this the resolution increases if I increase it the resolution decreases so it's kind of like an inverse but we can go to something low like I don't know 0.1 or 0.08 maybe even lower than that and if we go into wireframe you're gonna see it's uh, pretty heavy so it just kinda depends you know how high resolution you want it to be the resolution doesn't actually matter too much though, as you're going to see in a second. So check this out, if I duplicate this metaball here, and I move it up here somewhere, what it does is it kind of like fuses together, almost like um, like clay or something. It's just going to kind of, you know, stay attached to it like a slime or something weird. And what you can do is you can use this to quickly sketch out, you know, hard surface models and concepts. So for example, I don't really have anything planned out for this video, but what I could do is I could easily get in here and just kind of sketch out like um, some sort of interesting looking like gun shape or something. So we can go in here and you know rotate this. Maybe put like a little notch here on the top. You can always scale it down if you want. And then we could you know you could always duplicate it and put something here in the back maybe. I don't want this to be like too heavy on detail, but you kind of see what I'm doing. I want to show you one other thing that I haven't really used yet, but if you go into edit mode for these metaballs, there's actually a feature here um, for negative, which is basically the Boolean operation for metaballs. Now, it kind of like drops the resolution and stuff like that, so you're going to have to just decrease it again in edit mode to, what was it, 0.07. But what this is going to do is really allow you to kind of like, you know, use Booleans kind of without really using Booleans, you see what I mean? So that's pretty cool. I haven't really used this much personally. It's something I need to experiment a bit more with, but that is something you can do. What I have found to be a lot more fun and a lot more interesting is actually using real booleans. So once you've kind of sketched out your silhouette, you know, played with it and figured out like what type of shape you want, what you can actually do is you can apply this into a mesh. So if I press Control A and go to Visual Geometry to Mesh, what this does is it converts it into a mesh. And obviously the topology here is kind of a mess um, and pretty dense for no reason at all. So what I found to be pretty useful is using quad remesher with this workflow. So I could just use like a 5000 for the quad count, remesh it, and just wait for it to remesh. And now I actually have like, you know, clean topology here. I could drop a sub D on it and have like even, you know, denser topology. So that's a pretty cool thing you can do is you can just completely remesh it with quad remesher. And what I found to be pretty fun is you can just start kind of adding in your booleans using that normal boolean workflow that I've showed you in pretty much all my videos. So, you know, you can use hard ops and box cutter, make some cool stuff. So maybe I go up here, right? Maybe I, you know, run a difference boolean in this. And then just to fix the shading, we can shift click on sharpen. And, you know, speaking of this, this is a fourth opportunity to use another another hard surface modeling workflow. So, losing my voice here. So, we've used metaballs, we've used quad remesher, we've used sub D, and now we can use mesh machine to really kind of, you know, put the icing on the cake here. So, check this out. Say I just have like a little cut in here. I can make some cool, 
you know, contrasting designs with these really angular shapes here, kind of like that. Maybe I'll go in and let's, um, you know, maybe like cut a hole in here, kind of like that. It's pretty cool. Now check this out. What I could do is control click on sharpen to apply my booleans, but if I want to run a bevel around this, it's going to go crazy. So this is a good opportunity to use our mesh machine workflow. So I could use the offset cut feature here and it would just eat the geometry around it. And now I have enough room to actually run a bevel or I could even run a chamfer if I wanted to. So, you know, kind of like that really, really powerful stuff. I've been loving, you know, this workflow and just playing with it. So we kind of have this shape. And then of course what you can do is, you know, you can just hit it with quadri mesher again. You just click on remesh. It's gonna calculate it. You might need to drop on a sub D level or two, but check this out guys. You're gonna get these really nice flowy organic looking shapes using this workflow. It's crazy. So like I said, this is something I haven't really played with too, too much. I think it's something that could be very, very powerful once I kind of get, you know, a certain workflow and strategy down. And once I, you know, have something like a full tutorial for you guys, I'd be happy to release one. But I just wanted to quickly, you know, introduce this to you because when I saw this technique on YouTube, I was like, this is pretty freaking cool. You can get some really nice shapes and really cool concepts in just a few seconds using metaballs. You don't have to do any sculpting or sub D work or anything like that. So obviously you are going to need a few add-ons to really get the full, you know, workflow out of this. You're going to need, probably need quad remesher and you're going to need mesh machine if you want to get the bevels like I showed you. But the name of the game is you got to pay to play. So if there's add-ons you don't have, get them. They're useful. And they really allow you to kind of step up your workflow to a level where you just couldn't do in vanilla blender so really cool stuff guys just wanted to quickly show you this and hopefully you all can get some pretty cool shapes yourself and just kind of you know experiment with this type of workflow and see uh, how it works for you anyways guys that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one